Hi, I'm John Holden. And I'm Andrea Ocampo. Welcome to Earth. Our next story takes place here in Austin, Texas, in the famous Pennybacker Bridge overlooking the city. We're back in the summer of 2021. A famous event happened here when a Volkswagen SUV electric vehicle broke a world record. It was a 36,000 mile, 48 state trip across the United States. The longest trip ever taken by an electric vehicle in a single country. And it was due in large part to the tiny little devices you see on this disc here, the semiconductor. We know electric vehicles need batteries for power, but they also wouldn't be possible without thousands of tiny semiconductor chips. They control everything from emission systems to driver assist systems. An average EV uses about 3,000 of these chips, double what's found in an average non-electric car. In fact, our world is being transformed every day by technologies that require semiconductors like this. From the Weberville Solar Project outside Austin that provides alternative renewable energy for the city of Austin, or even the smartphone. Thanks to semiconductors, this device contains more computing power than NASA had in 1969 when it landed the first man on the moon. But besides being amazing technology, these tiny chips play a critical role in controlling global warming. Semiconductors are the brains and nerves of modern electronics. They're used in all kinds of applications, artificial intelligence, communication systems, electric vehicles, manufacturing, medical devices, energy production, and many more. It's super critical in this environment for energy efficiency to actually efficiently use and store energy, and that's including the semiconductor technology that's critical in everything that we see, whether it's solar or wind. We also work very closely with semiconductor companies to develop their decarbonization strategy. Our common goal is to half the carbon emissions by 2030 and reach net zero by 2050. Here in Silicon Valley in Northern California, one of the world's most powerful centers for technology and innovation, integrated circuits, microprocessors, and microcomputers were developed, along with the semiconductor. Infineon Technologies, headquartered in Germany with a large facility in San Jose, supports climate protection by reducing carbon emissions within its own operations and by creating semiconductors and other technologies that support renewable energy, including the electric car. The electric vehicle industry exists because of semiconductors. It really requires everywhere from the propulsion system to the infrastructure um, to the home. We like to think at Infineon, how can we help to do more with less? And semiconductors are the enabler to get there. Semiconductors are essential core components for uh, topics such as generating renewable energy, energy efficient transmission of power, but also energy efficient consumption. Altogether, semiconductors are uh, essential uh, to enable uh, CO2 emission to be reduced. We are using the most modern uh, process technologies in manufacturing that allow very energy efficient use of resources. So all in all, we are net positive. As the world's need to generate, transmit and store energy grow, so does the demand for sustainable, intelligent solutions, including alternative energy sources like wind and solar. The world produced 37 gigatons of carbon dioxide, the pollutant gas, if you will. And that was contributed by 9% of electricity generation, 25% of industry, 21% of transportation, and 8% from buildings. Infineon is addressing all four of those sections that are contributing to carbon dioxide generation by offering good quality semiconductors. And that's how broad the scope is of turning this earth green. We've been talking about what semiconductors do. Here in Austin, Texas, we're gonna find out more about how they're made at Infineon's largest semiconductor factory in the United States.
We have about 1,100 people working here on site. There are up to a billion parts on one of these chips, so it's very densely packed and they get smaller and smaller so you can package more and more stuff, right? So this is very important because uh, all the products we built here are more or less reducing the carbon footprint. And let's not forget that includes making that record-breaking journey by an electric Volkswagen possible. The trip with the Volkswagen EV was just a way to capture the imagination of the, the general public. And what made that possible was the reliability, they went over 30,000 miles, and the efficiency, so they had the range to be able to make it from one stop to the next. Both of those aspects were made possible by Infineon semiconductors. You know, semiconductors exist almost everywhere in the world today, from our power sources to the cell phones we use. And yet, up until now, hardly anyone was aware they even existed. I know I have a keen appreciation for how these tiny workhorses work in our lives to make our lives easier and our planet greener, and at the same time helping us all fight climate change. I'm John Holden. Thanks for watching.